poor Trista's on it. She's trying to eat. Like she's like Kenny oh. Caraway part two. She's just oh. trying. She's just trying to get a snack in right now. <laughs> she was she was stuck in a tr in, in traffic in DC, which is never good. What's up, TK? Woo! It's just been a day. We've been just ripping and running, and I've missed almost every hit, or I've been late to them. One got missed completely. One got pushed thirty minutes, and now this one's seven minutes late. So hey, we, oh, we good. We good over here. You know, we ain't tripping off that. Just you know, we get our TK fixed. We be straight. We were so ingrained in some stupid conversation. <laughs> I was like, I, Jesse was like, "Hey, did we send Trista the link?" I was like, "Damn, it's two oh three. Where's TK at?" I know. Usually, I'm right, Johnny, on the spot at four fifty seven. Just in there early. Let's go. Well, we're happy that you're here. We're sorry you were stuck in traffic. It's okay. Especially in D.C. because that's a miserable place to be stuck in traffic. Oh, yeah. And this one was like all stoplights. It was like mm. it was like highway stop with stoplights. So it was like. In oh, I hate those. Side in Virginia. <laughs> Wait, I do. I have to show you this real quick. I think you'll enjoy this. Uh, there was when I was in New York last time. It was video of when I was uh, just waiting for the. <laughs> Waiting like at the light. This is the intersection. This is just <laughs> what yeah. happens at the yes. What's going on over there? Yeah. Just at the that's, intersection. That's this is just what happened. That is a hundred percent New York. That is a hundred percent. I love that little New weird York. place. Um you got a favorite storyline uh two weeks into the NFL season? Two weeks in? To the NFL season, favorite storyline besides what I said last week, which is the Cowboys are the best team in the NFL. No. I think that's still true, though. Yeah, <laughs> it might still be true. They up there. There's, there's. I think They're there's, up there. There's two They're teams up there. It's between two teams right now. Is y'all and us? That's y'all hmm. and us. Everybody Just, else. You might, have, you might have to come out for the NFC Championship game. <sighs> that would be so fire. I would love to do that. It's gonna rain that day though. <laughs> it I think it might rain. You guys are have to get hotels or something because you guys don't want to drive from Sacramento to a long drive. I would I would take that drive though. I think let me see what time it'd be a night game too because NFC Championship game was early, it was first last year, so this year it'll be like three thirty. Oh, be fire! Yeah, so that's probably one of my my favorites just because it feels good, you know, it just <laughs> feels good. Is well, let me ask real quick: Is Michael Parsons the best uh, player in yeah. football right now? I think so. I, I, I disagree. So. Brock Purdy. I can't disagree. Um, no, I mean, he just looks. He just looks like not Mister Irrelevant at all. He, like I said last week, I think he can kind of make every read. Um, he's athletic enough. He sticks to Shanahan's plan. I think the Rams are an interesting story too. We mm. wondered whether it was just because they played the Seahawks in Week One. They looked really good in Week Two as well. I mean, that that strange ass field goal to not cover against you guys was very odd. Right. Did you have any money on that? I I actually had some play, player props, and then had the plus. I took an alternate number. I like to sort of buy a point here and there depending on the game oh my god though guys i forgot to tell you guys this maybe you saw it on twitter i had a seven leg parlay that was it was all the way there six of the seven legs had cashed and mm. the last leg was the over in the dolphins patriots game at 46 and a half and mm. they had that lateral that got the call got reversed where they had a first down. And I was like, oh, Patriots are driving. All I need is this touchdown. All, and this is, it was, it was $10 to win $830. Jeez. It was, would have been the biggest payout, like parlay, not in terms of dollars, but in terms of like the actual odds were crazy. It's like Cowboys minus three, first half, Daniel Jones rushing yards. David Montgomery rushing yards. So, um, yeah. So, I, I mean, the the move, unless, you know, you're just like, no. Nah, I don't live in a legal betting too. zone. Well, there's that too. But the move, if you did, is to put half uh, a hedge on that game, right? Yeah, it's put like, I don't know what it would be, like $50 or, yeah, you could say $100 on. Well, on what the you would have done, you would put $400 on the under and you win $400 no matter what. Mm. That's what you would have done. I learned that the hard way. So happy I don't do this. One, one time I had the same situation. Uh, I'll never forget it. It was during bowl season. And 
was seven teams, seven games or something like that. I got like a gift win with like Oklahoma beating somebody in a bowl game, but they, it was like a bad beat. And then it came down to West Virginia and Clemson in the Orange Bowl. And I think I had West Virginia minus, I don't know, I don't even know. They end up losing 70 to 7. Wow. <laughs> I think mm. that was Geno too, matter of fact. Mm. Yeah, never forget it. Mm. Now, I was a rookie at the time. Like I said, I, w- I was going to win like $1,000 or something like that off of 15. And, you know, like you said, I would have put 500 on Clemson and came away with something regardless. But Yeah, then you just basically you're, you're winning no matter what. No right. matter what which feels, right. feels better than watching your soul slowly. That- your body as I mean, they missed there was a couple of interceptions there was a blocked field goal we had so many random things go on in that hey, that that rams thing though come on man rough come on. no he he no mcveigh mcveigh knew he had to he had to have known he had to there's no other like, explanation he's like good teams win great teams cover <laughs> tremendous he had to know. Did you get a chance? Uh, and I'll preface this with: we haven't mentioned it today because we didn't get to listen to it. We were team building, or we didn't get to watch it. <laughs> Did you see your boy Dame with Cam and Mace? <laughs> oh yeah, I saw a little bit of that where he was like, "Yeah, we race pole to pole." <laughs> yeah, hmm. yeah, I said, "Hey yo, <laughs> yeah. said, wow, that's a wild one." It's my <laughs> life's dream to go on that show. Yeah, that's a special that you what you and OJ could do a oh, uh, you and OJ could talk football together. Cam <laughs> Mays, y'all gone too far. Y'all my boys, but y'all gotta stop that. They got OJ on there talking about running back salaries. Like, <laughs> yo, Mace, no. And it's even worse that it's killer cam and murder mace. <laughs> oh, and you got OJ Simpson over here talking football. Like, God damn, did no oh, one think this through? Um murderers. No oh, one thought God. this through. <laughs> but I mean, Dame was Dame was also on like uh Dame talking. He was like on a, a some Figueroa podcast. I've seen the podcast before. Yeah, I saw a music podcast. But in he, a he was very strange, like studio, like fisheye <laughs> camera. <laughs> like they're right on Fig. Everybody, you could see everybody in the room from the like. It was like a Big Brother camera, <laughs> you know, like that when they have it in the hookup room and they. You can see everyone in the night vision, and they're yeah. all like creeping over together under the blankets. That was Dame doing the interview. The, the sheets start moving funny. That was always the best part about those shows. <laughs> the 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 crazy because I've seen that uh, that that podcast before. It's like a it's a music podcast. Yeah, and they talk a lot of West Coast hip hop, and Dame was just on there with with all the homies. Dame's doing okay. a lot of media. And I don't know why. And I was the album it might have been Dame's best album. We didn't even talk about that. That might have been Dame's best album that he dropped. Yeah, it was really like, good. It's a real, legit, could be any rapper album. Mm-hmm. A lot of yeah, features. Yeah, I'm tired of Dame. Honestly, I'm very. Tired. <laughs> I'm tired of him. I did see though that uh, there's a mystery team out there looking, kicking the tires on Dame. And that's the Oklahoma City Thunder. And well, so if I'm not mistaken, that was your boy, Chris Mannix, who said the Oklahoma City Thunder. If I'm not, if I'm not Stop wrong, that. that's your boy. Our guy, the Hall of Famer, Mark Spears, I think he said there's an Eastern Conference team that's it's, sniffing around the, the Dame Lillard situation. Who would that be? I... I don't know. I Cleveland? really don't know. No, probably not Cleveland because they got Do- they got Donovan and they got Darius. Well, question: Would you trade Donovan? With all of this talk that Donovan's not going to sign an extension and he's leaving Cleveland anyways. Three teamer. I hate to say this, Dame can't go anywhere. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like you might have like a, a little bit Donovan more. Donovan to New York. Send Donovan to New York. Send Dame to Cleveland. Be a tremendous storyline. I can work Harden into this. Oh you. man, <laughs> that's who should have been all in on with Philly for a long time, but they're not. You know what? Ran like a random team that I thought of. I thought about Chicago. Interesting. 
That was about Chicago. They need a point guard. What would we get, though? <laughs> yeah, I feel like it'd be like Zach Levine. Um, I don't know. That's what I haven't figured out. Probably uh, <laughs> was uh, 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 that's Trista's next meme right there for sure. <laughs> I don't know. I'd have to figure it yeah, out. Like Zach Levine, better like his knees move like Nick Chubbs did last night. Well, oh well. Jeez. Are you are you grossed out by that stuff? Yeah, his knee went backwards like Barbie. Barbie. You know how like you can just move their knee and it goes the opposite um, way where you're going forward, but the knee goes backwards like that. Ooh, that's no good. I don't like that. No, I uh, maybe Chicago would be interesting. I don't know. There's not a lot of great fits on the East. More fits on the West. I feel. had the Marcus Smart trade not happened, I would have assumed it was Boston. But yeah. I don't know. Like now with the market, I don't. I don't think. I don't. I can't piece so that together. Haynes, friend of friend of show, friend of all shows, uh, he said Dame will never go to Boston. I I, I recall that Chris Haynes will be with us live Thursday at Sky River Casino. The, the oh wow! Sneaky, Good. Congratulations. Yeah, the the sneaky thing about it is there's not a lot of good fits for Dame Lillard. Period. And and oh oh. Well, <laughs> <laughs> not a lot of fits for me on this show. No. <laughs> There's not a lot of fits for Dame Lillard and Portland combined because a lot of these times, if you're looking to trade Dame, you're not going to pair him with, like, let's just use Atlanta, for instance. Not going to pair him with Trey Young. Mm -mm. No. So usually you would trade him for another point guard. Well, Portland already has a point guard position taken care of. And shooting guard position taken care of. Yeah. So there's just not a lot of seamless fits for both teams and for both sides, I don't think. If you have a high quality wing, you're how probably many of those trading. are there really though? You're not. That's what I'm saying. You're probably not trading them. There's not yeah. a lot of high quality wings out there, truthfully. Um, not ones that already have point guards. You could say maybe like a OG and a Nobi or a Pascal and picks. Mm. Um, but I don't think Dame wants to go to Toronto play with those young boys. Mm -hmm. You could say or Orlando. You could trade Franz Wagner. I don't think he'd be very happy in Orlando. No. I'd and that's the other aspect of it, too, right? Like, with Dame, I, I mean, Portland's going to do what's best for Portland, so I don't know if they really care. But, like, if you're trying to work with Dame, you're not going to send him to somewhere that's going to be in a worse situation than he's been in in Portland. You're trying to, you know, you're trying to take care of him, whether it's Miami, Boston, Okay, see, whatever, somewhere where he can like go and be in a good situation if you guys are working together. So there's not, there's also not, there's a lot of box that needs to be checked. And there's not a lot of, if any, situations that checks all the boxes. I don't think. Like finding a home, gotta sacrifice something. What were you doing before this radio hit? I'm looking at, I'm looking at houses. <laughs> <laughs> In the, in the I DC just wanted area? to point in out. Virginia? I just I just wanted to point out that tie-in didn't come out of nowhere. Yeah, I'm looking at houses, and I'm like, I'm trying to stay close-ish to work, but I need more space uh, for Mama, and I'd love to have a podcast studio there and some mm. more space for my dog. And so, I tell you what, though, it's not it's not easy. Not easy. Well, the good, the good thing is you can get basements out there. Yeah, there's basements, right. but. My mom needs to make sure that she can get outside from the basement and that there's enough light, but not too much light. She's. Well, I was thinking your studio got, could be in the basement. Hmm? I was oh, thinking your studio yeah. could be in the basement. Yeah. Like yeah, make it a finished basement because it can get cold down there. Oh, yeah. hell yeah. Yeah, I, I'll, there's houses, you know, for sale by me. There's there's room for the dog and, and mom. There's, there's all sorts what, of stuff. What would, uh, what would it run me? I think it's uh, more than the DMV. Uh, I, I think your DMV runs going to be a little bit more. Yeah. You'll get you'll get a lot of house. You'll get more house out here uh, than you will there, almost certainly. I don't know. I don't know, man. Sacramento is expensive. Yeah, yeah Sacramento is not not. It's not cheap, but like I guess it depends on where you're looking. Like if you're looking in Arlington, you should go on House Hunters. Go on house hunters. I I know I got this. I I lucked into the real estate agent. She just 
record my call when I got on hot pads or Zillow or whatever. And I was like calling places up and I lost the place I originally wanted to go. And which was like in a little bit of a sus neighborhood, but the house was amazing. Mm. And they had been on the market like 45 days. So a long time. And then the five applications the day I saw it. And it's like, I just didn't get it. So she's just been sticking with me because she feels bad. I'm like running her, running her like all the way to Sterling, 20 miles here, 15 miles there. We've been all on, over. This. Searching for a house is tough. On just, house hunters, they were like, uh, yeah, um, I'm currently just uh, a vibes curator and freelance writer. Uh, my <laughs> wife, she counts feathers for a living. Our budget is two point seven million dollars here. Like, <laughs> She's like, "What? <laughs> you guys don't make any money." And the great thing about that is, you say your budget is two point seven million dollars. Your realtor is going to show you a house that's three point one. Yeah, yeah. You have Everything. to. You have to. Yeah, you have to like tell them your budget's significantly lower than it actually is because they're going above budget, whether you like yeah. it or not. Yeah, I got hella lucky with my house. Like Did this. That was just a gift for the compound. Yeah. Like the, the he's, no, it's a compound. Like I've been there. Um, do you pay extra for the security out front or no? There's Did no, that come with the, the house? There's no security. Whatsoever, no, the, so. the armed gentleman who stops me every time. Who are you here to see, sir? Your name isn't on the list. I have to call that's Cheryl from Jeff. my Grove to get me in. He lives in a better neighborhood than I do. Oh, that's Jeff. That's right. That's, that's Jeff. That's facts. <laughs> Dame James Hart. I mean, Camp's in two weeks away. They're, they're they're that that's dominating everything in two weeks, right? Those two. Yeah, and also uh, tsunami Poppy going to the seventy. <laughs> uh, Kelly Oubre in Philadelphia was not something I expected one bit. Nick mm. Nurse has got to be losing it. <laughs> that's just not a Nick Nurse player. We know the kind of players he likes, and. We had a like uh, almost Nick a, Nurse wants Keegan Murray, not Kelly Hoover. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Definitely wants the LinkedIn version of whoever you are. And, <laughs> and Kelly Hoover is like the the Tinder version, like the Thrinder version of. Oh my! Or, <laughs> you know the old adage though: you can, you can. Well, this wouldn't really work for Philly. <laughs> I was gonna say you can always have one out there guy. Seems like they have at least two. P.J. Oh, Tucker will probably rock Kelly Oubre for taking 35, 30, 35 footers that are heavily contested five seconds into the shot clock. He's he's going to get punched in the face by P.J. Tucker, and then oh. they're going to the club together after to get their fits off. Didn't P.J. <laughs> – oh, I mean, P.J. does that uh, flawlessly. Didn't P.J. cut somebody out last year? I think year? it was James. No, it wasn't James. He was yelling at James, I think. Oh, was he? And yeah. I thought it was someone else. Might have been Embiid. PJ doesn't care. No, he wasn't yelling at Embiid. It was. It was. I, I, think I, it was I thought James, it was a kid. I remember I that. I feel like he used. I feel that. like it was in Boston. I can't remember, but I think it was yelling at James. The one on the the one on the bench where he's looking at him yeah. crazy in the. Oh, I thought it was James. I didn't realize it. Okay, we have to find it. Yeah, we will have to find a video because that's 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 high quality NBA entertainment. This is going to be a very weird season. You can just feel it, right? You've got two aging superstars who are desperately wanting trades, and not a lot of teams want them. You've got players that are these new, you know, rising stars that are trying to take their teams out of nowhere. You know, you've got just, there's just like, there's just something odd with this season already. And I need, I mean, obviously you got all the stuff going on in Houston. See what goes on there. It's just a lot of stuff. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It is. I'm sorry. I was distracted. It was Paul Reed. Harden was in the, Okay. he was sitting next, he was sitting in between them. And that's what, is that where Paul he Reed said, the, what you, said what the, you doing? The, the, the caption says PJ Tucker, furious at Paul Reed, quote, WTF are you talking about in? Yeah. <laughs> That's the one I was thinking of. And he's looking at him with like these big crazy eyes. Yeah. Yeah. That is a look from PJ Tucker. I'd never want to receive. That's what's going to happen to Kelly Oubre. Oh yeah. Like, yeah. Kobe first day of camp is going to be there too. And, and you know, he likes to run six guys uh, at like 41 minutes a night. Oh so, yeah. Uh, Kelly might not get any, might not get any burn at all. I was looking at this stat because I recorded the podcast today. 
he at one point was averaging 17 attempts per game and less than one assist. Mm. Damn. He was hitting up like all the like all the trainers, you know, that do all the like the Tatum's trainer and all these guys, Drew yeah. Hill, all them being like, Hey, can you talk to these GMs? Ask them why I don't have a job. Like, don't try to get me a job or anything, but like ask them why. And when I found that out, I was like, he knows why. 17 attempts, less than one assist. Mm. That's I mean, that's all the reason that there is. I don't think we asked you this. Oh, we're gonna almost gotta go. But real quick, do you think um James plays in Philly? Like, how do you think that ends out? Two immovable forces meeting one another. No, I don't. I don't know what happens because he's not going to be a free agent if he doesn't play for him at all. I think it's one of those scenarios. Maybe it's like eight games, James Harden hurts his back, sits in street clothes, maybe is away from the team like he did in Brooklyn, figures out a way to like hide out until he figures out maybe. I, there's no place for him to go, though. It's not like Ben. Yep. There's no place. Right. Well, the Clippers don't want him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think anyone does, and he's going to find that out next offseason. Yikes. Uh, thank you for uh, making time for us. We appreciate you. Thank Always you guys for being flexible. I'll talk to you guys next week. All right, TK. Thanks, Trista Crick. <laughs> Bet MGM tonight in the heat. <laughs> the, 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 the <laughs> she wilding over here on the stream. The Heat Check Podcast is back. Uh, make sure you are subscribing to that. We'll come